there are a lot of players that are looking for the most effective way to transition from world tiers. In this video, we're going to cover how to effectively transfer from one world tier to the next. Now, when you're starting Diablo 4, I highly recommend the most effective way is to start in world tier 2. And that is because of the XP buffs that have been given to all the world tiers. There is no point in starting in world tier 1. You're just wasting your time. Always start your character in world tier 2. Now, when you're in world tier 2, do hell tides until you reach level 35. At level 35, I suggest you do the first capstone, and that is the Cathedral of Light. It's a level 50 capstone. So prior to doing the capstone, do the following to ensure you have a successful run and you complete it. That is, number one, make sure all your skill points are assigned. Make sure all your potions are upgraded. Temper all your gear and add aspects, the important ones. This will ensure that you're going into the Cathedral of Light as strong as possible. Now, in my hardcore run, as seen here on this video, this is my live playthrough of my hardcore barbarian. You can see I went into the capstone very early and I followed these steps to the T because it will ensure that I had a successful run and I did have a successful run. I completed it no problem. So once you've completed the Cathedral of Light, go back into town and change from World Tier 2 to World Tier 3. Now you're going to be level 36, level 37, dependent on how many, uh, how early you went into the capstone. Now, if you went into level at level 35, you're probably going to be level 36, uh, something like that. Also, throughout this process, always make sure you have the elixirs uh, that you can put on. This way you're getting that extra XP. Now, a lot of people are using the Holy Bolts elixir i do not use the holy bolt elixir to do the capstones but the choice is yours okay so now you've successfully completed the cathedral of light capstone you are now in world tier three the first thing that you're going to do in world tier three is you're going to go to the purveyor of curiosities vendor and you're going to gamble your obols this will now get one piece of gear and weapons, each one for every slot, and this will automatically give you the gear you need in order to be in World Tier 3 and start World Tier 3. Also, before you venture out and start leveling up again, make sure you check your resistances and ensure they're adequate. And if you need some topping up, if you have any amulets or rings that have sockets, jewels are a good way to top up your resistances. So make sure your resistances are where they need to be before venturing out in World Tier 3. Okay, so once you've gambled, gotten the new gear in World Tier 3, you've checked your resistances, you're good to go, you can now venture out. And again, go do Hell Tides until you reach level 55. This is the next benchmark where you can now, once you hit level 55, you can now go do the level 70 capstone, the Fallen Temple. Now, again, we followed the same methodology. Once you hit level 55 and prior to going into the Fallen Temple capstone, make sure you assign all your skill points and Paragon points, if any, Temper all your gear, add aspects, the ones that you need, make sure your potions are upgraded, activate all the elixirs that you need to activate, and you now can go into the Fallen Temple level 77 as early as level 55 is what I recommend. Now on my hardcore playthrough, as you can see here, I 
just happened to be in the hell tide and just went over 55. I was in the 56 range, just into 56. So that's when I, but that was just the way it happened uh, because the hell tide was not over and I wanted to maximize the elixir time. Uh, but the point is you can go into the capstone at level 55. Now, if you follow this methodology, you are going to successfully complete these capstones the earliest possible, setting you up for really leveling up quickly and getting your character to a, a level 100 as quickly as possible. Okay, so you go into the Fallen Temple, you do everything on the checklist, you complete the Fallen Temple, and you now go back to town and you activate World Tier 4. And again, prior to venturing out, you immediately go over to the Purveyor of Curiosities, gamble all your obols. Please remember, while you're, while you're leveling in between the capstones, do not spend your obols. Keep them because you're going to need them. Because if you notice a trend here, every time you change world tiers, the first thing you're going to do is spend your obols at the Purveyor of Curiosities vendor because that will give you the gear that's aligned with the world tier and set you up for entering that world tier successfully. And again, so as soon as you enter world tier four, go to the Purveyor of Curiosities vendor, get one piece of gear for every slot in your inventory, on your character, sorry. And again, before venturing out, always check your resistances specifically and more importantly in world tier four you don't want to give any of the enemies a heads up in any fashion so ensuring your resistances are up to snuff is a good way to ensure you're not going to die and as someone who plays hardcore that is something that'll definitely get you killed so again regarding resistances always always when you're tempering this is another tip always take care of the resistances first and then temper all the other affixes that you need according to your build. So always address the resistances with tempering first and then everything else second. And for topping up resistances, like I said earlier, make sure if you have any amulets or rings with sockets that you use gems to top up the resistances. And hey, if you're really bad, you may you may have to put a socket on a ring or an amulet. I did it on this run, and that will ensure that you're not going to die unnecessarily. So that is the strategy for successfully getting the quickest XP, getting to level 100, and transitioning world tiers very efficiently and successfully. This is a method that I use all the time. It has reaped a ton of rewards for me. I, as you can see on this hardcore run, I got into each capstone, the level 50 at 35 and the level 70 at, 50, at 55, 56. And actually, sorry, the capstone 50, I, I think it was 30, uh, 35 or 36. Uh, I don't remember specifically, but it'll show it on the video. Regardless, that is what I recommend that you enter the capstones because when you're going into these capstones that early and you're going into the world tiers quicker, you're getting, you're maximizing the XP just because of the gap, the level gap between you and the enemies you're fighting. You're always ensuring that gap is as high as possible without being super risky, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let me know what your strategy is for entering capstones and what you do. Is it different than this? Is there a better way? I would love to hear it. I have found this to be the most effective. I have not heard or seen any other method that is uh, more effective. But if there's one out there, please let me know. I would love to hear it. Heck, I might adopt it. But this has worked for me so far. And I would love to hear your comments and feedback on this video. And as always, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it'll help my channel grow immensely. And I would appreciate the support. 
We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.